Good morning, everyone. How's everyone this morning? It's a little bit cool this morning when I went out to peg the washing out. I'm like, oh, I have to get a... Because I've been running around in a T-shirt the last few days. It's been beautiful weather. But I had to grab a, grab a longer sleeve top today. So as I've said in my um, blurb, I am using some new stuff this morning. So... Um, yeah, because I need to get some samples done for my launch day. If you saw my um, my card I made for one of my ladies' 60th wedding anniversary, um, that was part of a it's a two a two bundle set: the country birdhouse and the country flowers set. So I'll show you those sets. I can't show, and I'm going to case a card out of the catalogue, which most of you. If your customers you haven't seen yet so that's a bit exciting okay I'll pop you down to the desk yeah that's better and see it up the right way don't want it upside down do we so we've got our country flowers and our country flowers they're calling them the same name now our country flowers stamp set and our country flowers bundle um, dies so they make a bundle and we've got I'm not using this one today but this is part of the suite the country bird house and the country bird house dies make some cute cards with that and it also comes with two packs of the suite comes with two packs of DSP it comes with some gems which I didn't pull out I might have to grab them um, this this one would have to be my favourite. Let me see what that's called for you. It is called Country Lace. Oh yes, and there's a there's an embossing folder. I won't grab that out because it does this design. So we've got that's the other side of that. I'm using some of these papers today. Some from both packs actually. And that one this is the new um where's the stamp beige what's it called basic beige we get a stamp set a stamp set a, an ink pad and um some paper to match you get cardstock and they've got some of the designer paper matching as well that's that in that a very subtle pattern there which sometimes you need for cards more of a denim jeans look there. Um, petal pink flowers are beautiful. And some more of the beige. Some more of the misty moonlight. My misty moonlight blends. Um, my light blends dried up. So I was a bit stumped with them. Um, I had to use my wink of Stella to colour them in. So there's more patterns here. So if you can see them. I'm probably going through the same ones, aren't I? Yeah, I think that's all of them. I have moved them around a little bit, so that's why I went through the whole pack. And we have this one called Country Woods, which is really different. I've got this blue with the looks like old painted wood I've got a nice um, brownie colour a petal pink with the grey it's the same one and I've got this really different wild wheat with some grey um, splashed on it and that's they're all really nice and really serviceable so that's really nice too. And that, we've got our blue with our blue stripey ones. Uh, the, not blue stripey, the, all the colours in the stripes. It's got pool party in it as well. And that's our misty moonlight. Just really nice papers. And I really love this one too. It's more subtle. And wood grain subtle papers are really handy so for this card I'm going to have to be keeping on looking behind me 
And I did, I did do a little bit of a mistake, or well, it's not really a mistake, but I forgot to stamp uh, my, got all my bits cut out, but I forgot to stamp on my stool the, the stool stamp, and it looks better with the stool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and stamp once I've already die cut it, and I've cut out another piece in case I mess it up. So we'll see how I go. What have I stamped it in? Looks like I've stamped it in blue. Looks like pool party. Alright, we'll have a try of that. If we don't like it, I can I've got another little piece of DSP cut so that if I muck this up or if we don't like it I'm just going to stamp that see if it's dark enough for me it is I'm trying sorry if I get my head in the road that looks pretty good I think um, yep give it a good press down I've cut off, yeah, how did I do that? I've cut off the legs. Uh, just as well I cut another bit then, isn't it? We could use the other side of that. Have another go with that. I'm going to just stamp this again. And we'll die cut it again. Hopefully I have better luck with my die cutting than I have with my stamping. Um, I don't think I need that again. I can't show you the card that I'm casing for obvious reasons because I'm not allowed to. Um, I'll just go quickly run that through. That's better. Still not perfect, but we'll go with that. Um, where do I put the... Oh, here's the dies here. So then when I looked at the card, I... I figured out what they've done or you can we have got resources to look up what they've done but usually you can look at the card and just see so I don't know if I want to throw that out I'll just keep that I might be able to use the other side and do a better job of um, stamping that or oh, yeah stamping it and die cutting it it's already die cut stamping I mean so then they've got this white piece here and they've got Hello Friend on it down here. So I thought well, that, that will look nice. And the Misty Moonlight, I think. I didn't look it up, but it's a colour that goes with the cardstock. So should be good. Now I'll take that off there and place it on my glass mat. And I don't think it matters where I put that. I'll just uh, go close to the edge just in case. And we've also got some stamping on this little piece. I really love what they've done there. Where is it? Flower market. I'll show you in a second. Didn't seem to be inking up. Oh, you probably can't see, sorry. You can't see that. I have it close to me so I can see what I'm doing and um, realise you can't see what I am doing. Try and get that straight. Probably should do this before you cut it out, but I didn't. Um, that's really cool. And then what they did was they've put this over the top of, this is just cut out of white. They've placed this over the top, see that? Because this is like a jug or urn or something. And then the little, I guess it's a pan or something, they've um, placed that over the top, which I think gives it a really cool look. So I'm going to hear that down. I'm 
reminder to my customers that Saturday's the last day to RSVP for my launch. I thought I had a new, I do have a new bottle. That's the old one. So I'm having to shake the bejesus out of it. And it's got a snotty nose. That off there and I should have it on my silicon mat shouldn't I? I've got two hanging around here so I should be using them and put on this little piece here whoa whoops way too much glue see if we can get rid of a bit of that yeah okay this up carefully put that you could cut that little handle off if you wanted to but I just thought I would just leave it on there it kind of helps me line that up so if we get it lined up there using the wet glue gives you a bit of a chance to line that up oh. So I've got my normal half sheet of A4 DSP. A4 as in um, everywhere but America sizes. <laughs> so we'll put our... Oh, I should have put the... Never mind, I think I've got it cut exactly right. But if you do this card probably should put your white piece on first in case it's a little bit long but let's just check and make sure that it's not and it's not I'll just put that down without any dimensions on that right down to the bottom they've got theirs so we'll do the same makes it so easy to create a simple card when Stampin' Up give you all these all these cards in your catalogue is great for um, getting ideas and that's gee, I'm, not, I'm not doing a very good job with that stamp maybe I should have let it relax a little bit I'm just going to cheat and cut trim that down a bit because it looks a bit off me. I don't want to keep wasting DSP to, or is this the one I should have thrown out? I'm not sure. No, because I missed completely with the legs on that one. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, they, it should have cut. Yeah, it should have cut that little bit out there, or have they done that? Yeah, I reckon they've just done theirs with scissors because unless I've lined it up terribly wrong because they've got theirs there's a cut out bit I'm going to have to play with this a bit I did have trouble when I did a card before and I thought it was just me but maybe my Probably is just me. Maybe my stamp and my die aren't matching very well. Anyway, this is going to look better with a bit of a trim. That's what I always do if I've messed up badly. I just trim it with my scissors. Now it's good to go. So it's doing the stamping and the die cutting all over again and potentially messing it up again. That looks better. Yeah, it's going to have to give that a bit of a play with. Now let me just set these out first before I put all that together. So we have our jug, our urn on top of our I need to I need to cut that off there too. 
Is that Luke's weed? There we go. So we had that there. We've got our little jug on top and our flowers are going to go, our leaves are going to go there. So yeah, that's about right there. Sounds like someone's home for lunch. What's everyone having for lunch? I've got chicken soup. I made a batch the other day and put it in the freezer. So that comes down about. Not that it matters, but just trying to get my card so it looks okay. <laughs> I don't know if I want to... I think I'll pop the flowers up, so I don't think I'll pop these ones up. Now I can hear the soup down in the microwave. Someone's hungry. This is a really quick and easy, simple card. I wasn't sure about this set, but I'm actually quite loving it. Um, yeah. Kind of want that. Oops, up a bit. I don't want the vase showing. Vase urn. Whatever it is. I don't want that showing. Oh, come down a bit. Come down a bit. There we go. Now for the flowers, I think I'll pop them up after I've given them a bit of texture. I just usually use my hand for that. Let's um place them where I think I might want them. I want to cover up that hole and one actually behind there. Get off my finger. My finger's got glue on it so a bit of hand sanitizer to try and get that off. I still haven't used up my minis to do my, well not my trick, but um, I'm probably, I don't know if you saw last week, I put, um, this is, this tip came from really Robin Stamps and she put, she got it from Jilly, Jilly something stamps. You put your packing tape on top of this layer of um, dimensionals and then when you pull that back, all the backings come off, like come with the sticky, the packing tape it is a wonderful idea. But I think those big ones might be, as I said last week, I haven't, um, I wanted to use this up. I didn't want to waste all the sticky. I wanted to use this, these ones up first. So I might put, oh, now I've knocked that off. I'm not going to know where to put that. You don't have to be pulling backings off. I think it was about there. Probably doesn't matter too, too much. Another one. Come on. Come on. Much easier than fiddling with little backings of dimensionals. So thank you, Robin, for that technique. For that little tip. And we'll put one over there where the hole is. And they're all done. And on. Oh, silly things back in there. 
And for our inside, I'm just going to be really... Hmm. Where's that gone? I swear I had an inside there. It's disappeared. That's all right. I've got another one. I'll probably put it somewhere. It'll be here somewhere, but we haven't got time to look for that. Let's just put our... I won't know which glue to use. Put our uh, glue, if it comes out for us, across there. back a bit should be 10 centimeters because that's what I cut the DSP at place that down the bottom of course you could use your stamps for the inside if you were if you were wanting to Sometimes it's good just to do a simple, I just really don't know where that, oh here it is here, that's okay, I'm going to look over there, I knew you were there, somewhere, and this will go just down here, I might put the glue on the paper now, because I'm not sure where that's going to land, should put the glue on the paper, but I don't always for doing the insides of my um, cards when I'm using DSP because I know where I want the DSP to land usually. Come on, come down a bit. And that just makes it really simple to create. Now let me see if I can track down my Hi, Margaret. Yes, I can. Thanks, Marg. I'll just see if I can find those pearls. I've not used any of these yet, so we'll just see what we think. I haven't even opened them to have a look. <laughs> I've been busy. Your projects took me a long time, Marg. <laughs> it was fun to do, though. We will get there in the end. Now, I'm not sure whether we want... What are these called? Adhesive Back Pearl Trio. We can do the blue. Not really... Not really fussed on that. Let's see what these ones look like. They are Basic Grey and Smoky Slate. So what we think about them. Yeah, I think I like the... They could tend to be a bit blue. Can you see that? I can't see what you're looking at because... Um, the camera hasn't caught up yet. I'm still over it, <laughs> over looking for, the, for these. Um... Oh, inside. I want them inside my flowers. So yeah, that'll that will help me decide. Not sure. I'm not sure if I want grey inside my flowers. I think I'm going to just use rhinestones actually. Oh, I could use petal pink. Oh, that's just going to fall down. I've got petal pink pearls. Let's. I've got to get rid of some of these pearls because. As you can see, they're not fitting very well. So we've got these ones that I think I've used all. Yeah, I've used all the small ones. Wish we had more small ones than we had big ones, because if you want them for your inside flowers, that's what you need, isn't it? There's some little ones in here, actually. These are open. These will be nice. They're um, 
They are, and these are going through too, I'm pretty sure. Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock. Might be a little bit large, but... Oh no, they're fine. Well, fine on the big one, anyway. Yep, that'll be good. Good, good, good. you up while doing that now so there's my cute and quick little card I could have perhaps put some twine behind that I could have dressed it up a bit but it's quite nice and simple I think I'm not done. I'm going to come back in again because it's frozen on my screen. There we go, that's better. Just wanted to see if you could see the card. There we go. Quick and simple little card using country flowers. Okay. Must be lunchtime, seeing as hubby's come in. Okay, thank you everyone for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.